So they are extremely happy because they, they reach a, a very high orbit as expected with a Falcon 9 rocket and a, per, and, and a very nice uh, capsule which flies for the fourth time. And so they enjoy, they enjoy the view, of course, of the Earth. They have incredible cupola to see uh, what is going on um, in, in the sky, in the heavens, let's say, and, uh, and on Earth. Then they will have a little, some medical ex experience, but that's not a major work. They are mainly just passengers or tourists. Uh, the, the challenge will be perhaps for them to adapt to uh, space sickness and not to be sick. Usually it takes about three days to adjust. So hopefully they will enjoy the three days and not get too much sick and throwing up. And also the bathroom, which is a bit, it's a very small um, capsule of nine meter tubes, and they have to use the toilets, and there are two men and two women. So the privacy is sometimes an, an issue. Uh, but the most important thing in this is that it's the first privately funded non government trip, uh, as you said. Uh, paid by a billionaire, Jared E. Zachman. So NASA is not anymore at all in the loop. SpaceX is handling the whole mission in an automatic way, and it shows how robust the system is to, and open for passengers and tourism in the years to come. I have to ask, Frederic, uh, do you think that this mission or future missions like it will be useful for scientific or technological research for humanity as a whole? Or is this just a purely private individual uh, thing aimed at, you know, taking those looking for thrills to, to space? I think it's of two different uh, approaches. Uh, one is to make science and technology research. You have to go on the space station or to the moon, or uh, uh, you, you need a huge lab, as we see on the International Space Station, which is in, on orbit for the past 20 years. Now we see this really new adventure, these new um, challenges for tourism. And that's why is, uh, SpaceX and Elon Musk are showing that it's a system fully automated where anybody can go without real training, without professional astronauts. So it has nothing to do with real science and technology. It's to enjoy a new way to, uh, to go in space instead of just flying or going to exotic places on Earth. So it's, it's uh, very, very, very different. And we saw already this summer some suborbital flight with Jeff Bezos and with uh, Richard Brunson, but that's not that wasn't in space. It was just suborbital, just a few minutes in space. Surely inaugurates at least a new phase of space tourism, as you suggest there, Frederic Castell. We'll have to leave it there for now. Thank you so much for that update.